reroute and lobby one are drivers. If installed, enable any DAW to be interconnected respectively as virtual audio patch bay and MIDI. Let's see them together in this video. <laughs> In the first part, we go through Reroute 2. Reroute is a driver delivered with Reaper. Its installation is optional. Apple users have already Sunflower, which is not threatening in this video. Reroute is available and usable by any DAW. Don't worry, who has installed Reaper without Reroute may reinstall it, including the package. It's not required to uninstall Reaper for this, just install it over. Into the installation window, remember to check the box Optional Functionality. As Master Do, I do use Reaper. I insert a new track. As input, I select the virtual ones of Reroute 1 and 2, because I need for stereo signal. The other Do I use is Freddy Loop. As audio driver, I select Reroute. I import the audio file on the track 1. It's one of my productions, Baila Conmigo by Barbara Vagnini. You can find the link in the description box down below. I set the master output up, selecting the virtual outs reroute 1 and 2. Back to Reaper, arming the track for record, I also click on monitoring. The audio is available and usable. I can record tracking a chunk. Then I stop and I play it. I did record an audio from another DAW, or from any other audio program as a synth, for instance, in Reaper, which is my main DAW. Of course, you can also do the same, but in the reverse way, exporting the audio from Reaper and recording it with another DAW. To do so, in Reaper, I show the master track. In the routing section, I set up the output hardware to reroute. On the purpose of this video, I already removed the default hardware to avoid to listen to the Reaper's audio from my studio monitors. Here, through the loop, I select the channel where I wanted to record the track from Reaper. I select the input on rear route 1 and 2. I mute the previously used track. I am through the loop for record. On Reaper, I go and play. Fruity Loop is picking the Reaper's audio up. I click on Record and I track the audio on Fruity Loop. Let's play it. That's pretty much it. I hope it was useful. In the next video, you will see how to install and use a Loop B1 to perform the same operations but with MIDI. As usual, I ask you to click on I like, to subscribe on my channel, and to click on the small bell to be aware when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching.